Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. In this video, I will show you how to use the Screen Capture Tool. The Screen Capture Tool is actually quite a handy little tool. Um, you might notice there's a little camera that is on the toolbar in Smart Notebook software. Let me show you what that tool does. When I click on it, I get a little menu that pops up in a little uh, toolbar, and I have actually four different types of captures that I can make. I can also select whether I want the capture to appear on the same page or in another page. So let's just take a gander at this. This first one is like an area. Like say that I wanted to just capture this pen right here. I can drag a little box around it. When I release, it takes a little snapshot of it and it put me on a different page. Pretty nifty, huh? Now, let's go back to this first page and I'm going to take capture to, uh, we'll try the second one here. Now this one, if you notice, when I click on it, it puts lines through the area that it thinks that you want to capture. It's like the current um, window. And I just click and it will put that on a brand new page. Alright, so look, I go back. There's that one. There's my original. Here's my screen capture. And there's the first screen capture that I did. You can also capture the entire page, not just the window. You can capture all the menus and stuff like that. So let me show you how that works. I'll click here. And it just automatically captured that. There was no questions asked. And here it is. You can see the difference between that one and the other one. It includes all the menus. And then the last one is kind of more of a freehand draw. You can kind of draw. Let's say that I just want to kind of draw around. I'm not going to do a very good job of this, I know, but I'm going to kind of draw around this section right here. And I release, and voila, there you go. Okay? So those are your four options. Now you might wonder if the screen capture is available um, outside of Smart Notebook, and the answer to that is yes. Let's say that you're visiting a website, and here's a pretty butterfly, and you want to do a screen capture of something on this butterfly. Of course I could, and of course I could save this picture if I wanted to. I could right click on it and click copy and go back into my Smart Notebook and paste it in there, right? But what if I wanted to only get a section of that picture? Or what if I wanted to get something that actually wasn't a picture? What if I wanted to get these menus? So on the floating toolbar, there is an icon, and this one's called Area Capture. And I can just drag and release of the part that I want to grab. And it automatically snapped a picture, and it plopped it over into Smart Notebook software. Okay? I could take this camera. Maybe I just want to get a smaller picture of the butterfly and not the whole butterfly. There you go. I'll go back to my Smart Notebook software, and there is my capture. Now, there are some other captures available. If they're not showing on here, you'll have to go down to the tool section and see there's a full screen capture, the freehand, the area for me is already out there, and then the screen capture tool. And any of these you can just drag and drop onto your toolbar. Another benefit of the screen capture is let's say that you're using um, the pen and you're taking notes on a website. Now, those notes are not going to stay there forever like they would in Smart Notebook software. So, you might want to go ahead and grab a capture of your notes. I think I'll for this one do the screen capture right there. And let me go back to this and it's going to ask me which one I want. There you go. And if I come over here, there it is. So it's a very handy tool when you're on the internet or you're using other applications and you want to go ahead and retain those notes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the screen capture tool and find all sorts of useful ideas for using it in your classroom. Thanks.